website. Did you know that, Greg? No. <laughs> I didn't. He didn't know he had a website. <laughs> I didn't know I had one. Do you know how to get to the website? You just yes. go to WKHM.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see all your your people on that are on your radio show. Oh, good. And they had a really old picture of me on there and okay. a link that didn't go to anywhere. So Mark Daly was kind enough to update it so you see a really cool picture of Mark Meyer and I. Okay. <laughs> and it now goes to a link. And so you can go yep. see all our radio. Not all of them. I, I looked and they weren't all up Hey, there. behind you, Mark was waving. <laughs> because he's, no, he's he the again. best. I said, you're the best. And he emailed back and said, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Mark. <laughs> so go to WKHM. And dot com. Dot com. <laughs> so if anybody had any questions for us, how would they get a hold of us? Uh, seven eight seven three three nine seven. Preferably real estate questions, but we'll take any questions. Oh, right, it is a lifestyle show. It is a lifestyle show. Right. Yeah, and really. we, we educated people this morning. I bet you there were a lot of people that, that didn't know the whole uh, leap year thing. thing. Well, or didn't think about it. On their website, it, it says that we talk about important stuff. <laughs> Well, they must not have heard this show, right? <laughs> it doesn't say we talk about real estate. It says we talk about important, important stuff. stuff or something like that. It was really ambiguous. So. Here. <laughs> so Christmas is on Tuesday this year. Dang. Now, where does the extra day so come I wonder, in? So if New Mark, Year's where's the extra day, though? Monday. No. Where's it come in? I We're mean, just... what month? What day? What well, is it obviously, February? Well, obviously February. I think it's the end. Well, what do you mean? Obviously. obviously. Okay, because so it's the 29th. No, it's why the, does it? Why does it have to be February? It should be December. Should be December 32nd. Yeah. Because I'm assuming that New Year's Day then is going to be on Tuesday as well, and New, January 1st of next year is actually should have been on the first or on Monday, but it's probably on Tuesday. I'd have to check my calendar. Well, yeah, that's bad for retailers. They like this was the perfect year for retail, because Sunday, because Christmas fell on a Sunday. Yeah, yes. Gave them a full extra shopping day. So I was gonna. Speaking of shopping, <clears throat> we bought Bill popcorn for Christmas, and oh, he wasn't that thrilled with it. And I was gonna give it to you. Oh, I'm, I, I enjoy popcorn. And it was drizzled in chocolate and peanut butter, I think. Mm. From from right up the street here. Oh, okay. What's it on the meat market? Prime cuts. You afraid I'm gonna <laughs> hit you, Mark? Cuts. I don't know what you're talking about. Prime cuts. So well, there was an article in the newspaper about Greg, and that his favorite meal is popcorn and meatloaf, right? Yeah, that was. Do you eat them together? That was mm -hmm. my question. Why not? I'm just curious. No. Usually it's meatloaf and mashed potatoes. No, I don't like potatoes. So. You could take the popcorn though and, and substitute the bread that you would, the bread crumbs for in popcorn in the meatloaf. Yeah, you could do that. Wow. <laughs> this is a lifestyle show. I told you it was. I'm just thinking <laughs> I outside told the you. box. This has nothing to do with real estate. Wow. So, um, is January a good month for real estate? Um, I'll try to segue into real estate now. Not me. <laughs> it starts picking up. I think we've started getting. What do I know? Calls. People are. You know, their New Year's resolution is to get that household. So they call us because they want to be have it listed with a good realtor. <laughs> it's oh, been busy. Okay. Yeah, we've been yeah, busy. Yeah, we've been busy. I have a couple commercial deals going on, which is always a good sign, I think. Well, when people are willing to spend money. Speak about good so signs. So people are buying commercial property? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a tenant email me saying they were going to cancel their lease, or they weren't going to renew their lease at the end of March. And they are a bankruptcy attorney. And I asked them why, and they said because they didn't have enough business. Really? In, yeah, in Jackson. So they were going to not renew their lease. So bad news for me is I lose a tenant. Good news is, so I said I assume that's good news. It means our economy is improving. And then I asked another bankruptcy attorney who rents from us, and he said their business is down too. So. Wow. Do you just rent to bankruptcy attorneys? <laughs> well, <laughs> It would appear that way, wouldn't it? But no, we'll take Anybody. anyone who falls within our zoning. Okay. Which is what? R4, which is uh, multifamily and office. Anyone that can pay the rent. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that uh, mortgage rates fall to a historic low again? 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 So that means they're below three and a half? 
Um, it says they have been below 5% for all but two weeks in 2011. What about 2012? <laughs> <laughs> the, the average is 3.94%. And so the average can, on a 15 year is 3.21%. Wow, that's pretty low. It's amazing. Yeah, so if you can get a, mor if you can get a mortgage, now it's time to do it. Did you know the new home or November home sales were up four percent? The number, but not the average sale price. The the number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our average sale price is down. It was way down last yeah. year. Yeah. From uh, compared to what? The year prior. Really? Yeah. If I you were going to. it was up a little bit last no. year. No. Eleven's down but, from ten. But ten really was the, up from oh nine. But we're, I think 11 is higher than 09. The foreclosures, though, really drag it down. Right? Foreclosures have dropped. I don't think we've, I don't see as many foreclosures out there. In fact, that's evidenced by the year-end numbers of our association altogether. A lot of the agents, there was one agent who had about 200 closings last year that did foreclosures, and that person had less than 100 this year. That's huge. It's a huge difference. Huge. <laughs> look, Mark, Mark has his homework from last week. You look busy, Mark. Um, well, I'm looking at our, uh, when I pulled these before Christmas, um, average sold price in 2010 um, for all, including foreclosures in Jackson County, mm -hmm. was 81067 and for 2011 it was 78607 so down about 5%. That's but still down, though. Just slightly. Yeah, we'll get that back up this year. Very slightly. We're going to see. You an think so? Yeah, I think we're going to see an increase in employment. It's going to bring people looking at houses. Why do you think that? Why? Yeah. Talk uh, to us. Well, I just think you got. Is somebody hiring or? Well, I think you'll see new companies. I think new, we've got. Oh, I think well, we've got. Wow. The economy is getting better. Do you have any breaking news here? Look at the. Um, Councilwoman. <laughs> <laughs> look at the uh, unemployment is down. That was in the paper. I don't ever believe those figures. Well, I don't care where they come from. Well, you're working, aren't you? How many people? I some call it that. Uh, <laughs> how many people have have dropped off the rolls? That's what I look at. That have been out of work for 97 weeks. That are they're out twisting. I don't. I don't know the there's, answer to that. There's probably a lot of them. I'm doing a lot of research right now okay. on a lot of things, and that's not one of them. In USA Today, it says in USA Today it says December manufacturing and November construction spending rise. And I've heard about the construction improvement. New home construction, or mm -hmm. is that home construction? Probably oh. uh, apartments and homes. Yes. Okay. And I heard in on the news. I think day before yesterday, I heard Pulte's, uh stock was up. And that's always a good sign, too. Pulte, the largest home builder in the world. Mm -hmm. Wow. Bloomfield Hills based. Is, are they? Mm -hmm. They are. Um, and, and I think that, you know, the numbers that came out yesterday for the auto industry have a direct effect on Jackson's housing market because there are so many family owned businesses that have been just kind of coasting along for the last couple of years, hoping to remain in business and now that things are busy in Detroit again, it helps us a lot. Right. Those are uh, auto related? I think so, yeah. In, okay. in transportation and... When's the last time you shipping? bought a car, Greg? Uh, two years ago. Mark? Uh, the summer, but it was old. <laughs> I did buy mine. <laughs> but you paid cash for it. I did. I bought it local. I think a lot of people are paying cash. Oh, did you? I, yes. bought, I bought mine local too. Okay. From the Jeep dealership here. Okay. Very good. I love my Jeep. Are you taking calls, by the way? We would love a Good call. morning. I know she wants to hear from me. You know yeah. that is all night. Absolutely, we want to hear from you. Is that JC? I read where we had a million and a half foreclosures last year, and they're predicting the same or more this year. You yeah. know, they do that every we're year. Getting, we're, we're getting two different stories. We're getting one from the real estate agents who wants me to believe that everything's hunky-dory, but yet I'm reading the thing that says, Things ain't hunky-dory in this country. I, I actually agree with that with that scenario. I don't think that it's going to be much different in this in 2012 I don't than it was in 2011. I, I think we've become desensitized to it. I think this is now the norm. We're looking at a 20% drop again in prices, they said. 
We lost 20% last year. It's going to be a 20% drop again this year. We did not lose 20% in Jackson. We didn't lose 20% in Jackson County, and I don't see that we're going to lose it next year. Yeah, I, yeah. We, that might be a national but, average, but it's but not yeah, national. And when no. I look at foreclosures, I look locally. I don't look nationally. Yeah, I agree with that. That doesn't, I think, individual communities. JC, you're not honky dory. No, I'm not honky dory on that. And I want to ask you, what did uh, councilwoman there, who we conversed? Yeah. Are you going to get rid of that terrible tax, that God tax? Uh, the businesses in town there, please. Well, well, the beauty of this show, it, is, it isn't a council person show, so <laughs> I can't answer is that. that. I'm doing my research on all that right feed? now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stormwater tax. Well, that's one of the biggest issues in town. Well, we've been have two lawsuits hit us. Oh, well, right. So three if you count the county. No, county is one, and then... Um, Were the other two together? The other two? It was... Um, Dave Klein and right. Brian Surgener. Right. So the, were those together? Yes. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I am I am reading them and I'm doing my research and um, that's about as much as I can say right now because I don't have a I got to get it all under my I got to figure I got to learn it before I make a comment. So that's, anyhow, that's, that's unusual. That I have to learn it or before I make a comment. <laughs> It's you know that's that's a lot of this research. This could be a long you year. Gotta figure, yeah, this you gotta, could be a long year. You got to figure you. out where it came from and what they're doing. I mean, it's a lot of research, so I'm not going to make a decision without having all the facts. So that that is uh, in the hands of attorneys now. Yes. Okay. Or so to be. I mean, we have a meeting on Tuesday. <coughs> this coming Tuesday. And believe me, I'm a business owner, yeah. property owner in the city of Jackson. I don't like paying that fee, so. <coughs> I am. It's a tax. I don't like paying. We call the, it a tax. I don't like show. paying the bill that comes in the mail. Right. So anyhow, um, back to the foreclosures though. I just don't see them as much, and it's evidenced by the number of realtors we have in the market. I think, and by the agents that have been dealing with foreclosures. If you ask them, they don't see them as much as they had in the past. So I don't know. Nationally, I think they like to report bad news simply because that's what stimulates readership. Well, I also think that... No. Come yeah. On. Yeah. I, I also think that those, you know, when you talk about a 20% drop in... You're, you're, you're blaming the... The media? The media. The lamestream media. No, only the, <laughs> only, the, the me print, only the printed media. No. Come on. <laughs> Oh, come I'll, on. I'll, I stick up for the printed media. Well, I, I what have, are they gonna? You, I have to respectfully disagree with. Well, you, you have to report what. Yeah, but I we have statistics. That's the we new. Have our that's market that's that fact. Did. No, that's you, fact. Plus, we're not taking into account these places that had just stratospheric property price increases right. for ten years right, or twelve exactly. years. Right. Like Los Angeles and Las Vegas and Phoenix and you know Southwest Florida. Florida. Uh, Boston, New York. Right. Well, that's not, but that all averages out nationally. But that's, and I think that's what JC was talking about is that that 20% price decrease for next year, that could certainly still be the case. If you're talking about a, you know, an average sale price in Los Angeles of $450,000. Phoenix. Know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sticking locally. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and in 2008, according to my notes, it claims that we were going to hit um, bottom of our home prices. And well, you were talking about this last week. You know, you were giving us some some notes from 2008. And were you lecturing again on this show? No, I was just oh. giving notes. <laughs> okay. It was information. It was information. <laughs> Is this your cell phone right here? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna call me, so I have your number. <laughs> By the way. Anyway. Okay. So <laughs> it said. Don't even two, touch that thing's radioactive. Don't 2008, touch it. 2008. That we we're gonna hit home price. Bottom, and I would say that that's probably true as of today. I don't think. We'll see. I don't think 10. And I mean, I know. I would say nine, it's probably going to be it, level this year. It went up, at, but in 2008, we were down. We'll we went up in 9. We'll pull some stats for next week. Okay. We went up in 9, we went up in 10, and we went down in 11, but 11 wasn't as low as 9. I'll go back five years. Let me ask you a question. So as of today, we have hit the bottom. I want to sell my house. What's the besides calling one of you two? What's the first thing I should do? Clean it up. 
make it sparkle. Oh yeah. Glitter bottle. Oh my god, clean up. When's the last time you cleaned out your closets? Clean the garage. Organize your closets clean too. Clean up the dog crap in the front yard. No dog, but make it make sure that it looks better. Make sure that it looks better than Pull the neighbors. Pull the weeds. Uh, paint the trim. In January? Wash the doors. You don't have to worry about that in January. You start, you know, go out to the street and look at your house and say, if I were a home buyer, what would I? If I were just driving by, what would I think your house was worth? And then walk yourself through it. If you got um, carpet that looks cruddy, replace it. Okay, let's say I did all that. Mm -hmm. Then what should I do to well, when pique somebody's interest in that home? Well, you list it with the right realtor. Well, that's what I said you can't, at the yeah. outset. Because as a for sale by owner, I in fact, I went and met with a couple yesterday who had their home for sale by owner. And, you know, they had someone come up and say, oh, I'll give you 3000 and and $1,000 a month. And, you know, unfortunately, the for sale by owner can't, most of them aren't savvy enough to protect themselves against someone who would take advantage of them. So they need a professional. And then, you know, if you call me, I'm going to do a detailed market analysis that's close to an appraisal because I got that background. So we're going to talk about pricing. So then you got to get the pricing right. Pricing is key. And the cleaner your house is, the higher you'll get in a price. And but your price is only going to be within a certain range. Yeah. No matter how clean your house is. Are you is. taking overpriced listings? I, I don't think I am. Okay. All mine fall within my range. Peace. Peace to you too, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a cool. <laughs> anyway. You look more like Buddha doing that because of his haircut. Right. <laughs> Aren't you glad you're back? Did you bring that popcorn in? <laughs> no, I ate it. Because, oh, I right did. And it was really good. I just wanted you to know it was Thank really you. good. Thank you. And I thought of you while I was eating it. <laughs> well, I said to Bill, I should give this to Greg O'Connor. And he had opened it. And I thought, well, I can't give you an open box of popcorn. Right. That yeah. would be tacky. There is a new popcorn place, a pack of plasma. I saw that. There is? Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw that. But this popcorn from... It smells good in there What's all the, the time. What is the meat market up here? I can't remember. Prime Cuts. Prime Cuts. Prime Cuts. Thank you, Jackie. She looks so irritated when she That's said that. That's because she's already said it a couple of times. <laughs> I was focused on you, Mark. Oh, there you go. That was your problem. Right, exactly. Uh, so do you have so what are you talking you about talk next week? About? Well, we're going to... Next week. Stats. I'm going to pull five-year stats, statistics, and we're going to talk pricing. Okay. And you can go okay. to our website. Talk about anything you want. You can go to our website, thinkingrealestate.com, and the statistics are on there for 2009, 10. Do you have and like a new current. logo now and everything? We do. Is that all done? And it really looks nice. Too. We're okay. hot. Haven't you seen our signs? I'm going to go to it very shortly. <laughs> Who's going to show you how <laughs> on to the use the computer? Huh? Who's going to show you how to use Come the on, computer? Mark. So I have some price reductions. Can we get you to those no real quick? You have no faith in my computer skills. <laughs> 386 Jilts Lake Road. Seems like we've been talking about this each week. That's down to 30000 Someone come take a look at that and Just buy that house. Keep going. Keep going down. 230 North Forbes, 11500 And 409 Garfield, there's a good deal right there. 21000 Wow. That's a four, is it four bedrooms? Mm -hmm. That's a big house. Nice. Nice house. Swimming pool? No. Okay. See no swimming pool. So that's your first big meeting coming up Tuesday. It is. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous. What but, uh, Come on. Well, you know. That'll be fun. Well, you've already be been up there. Oh, you've not I been up there once? once, oh. but it was a like a ceremonial meeting. Did you have to wear a headdress? No. <laughs> I had my crown on. Did you Didn't, you see, <laughs> Didn't you see my tiara? It looked really good. Her Highness. Right. right. She's a grand I had my tiara on in the official photo, too. Well, good luck Tuesday. Thank you. We'll see you next week.